What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the site, well, you've come to the right place. I've been hearing a lot about the metaverse lately. That's the latest thing corporate America's been shoving down our throats, and you know it's working. Everyone's talking about it. I hear it on the news, overhear people talking about it at work. Uh, hell, I think the priest might have mentioned it during a sermon at church. Don't ask why, because I never listen to those. Sue me, the guy's boring as hell. You ask me, I think this metaverse stuff is a a load of baloney. I hear that they want to blur the lines between reality and the quote unquote virtual world and they use these virtual reality headset machines to do it. I'm sorry, I thought the point of the virtual world was to offer an escape from reality. You know, you finish your shift at work and you boot up a game of New Vegas or whatever. Or whatever it is people play these days. Shoot, we invented those VR machine things to make video games more immersive. I seen a video of someone blasting a head crab into bits in that new Half-Life game they made. And now I guess I'm gonna be filing my taxes with my government mandated Oculus Rift. Not exactly how I imagined the future, but whatever. But you know, maybe I'm being too harsh. You know, I wanted to get myself one of them Oculuses until Facebook bought them out. As if I'd buy anything from those guys. Bunch of slimy little reptilians, the lot of them. So anyways, this video was trending a while ago on Twitter, showing how Walmart envisions shopping in the metaverse. Of course, this ain't the full video. This here is. Apparently, this video was made by a group of guys called Mutual mobile. Here's the full video of our Walmart VR store concept demo. Almost five years later, this demo is proof of how experimental VR once was and how far it has come today. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Let's give it a look. Howdy! Thanks for visiting Walmart. I will be your shopping assistant module today, but you can call me Sam for short. Okay, so someone help me out here. Is she like an AI or pre-recorded? Or is she like an actual employee? Are they just gonna have a bunch of like employees in a warehouse sitting in front of a camera to help people shop or something? Jesus, talk about this topic. Okay, let's get started. I have your shopping list loaded up and I'm tracking your oil change so I can let you know as soon as it's done. You see the tomato sauce on your left? Go ahead and grab that and then place it in your cart. Okay, this seems stupid. Oh wow, what an immersive shopping experience. It's like I'm really there putting the tomato sauce into the cart. Hey, you know what would be even more immersive? Actually go into the goddamn store. You won't need any fancy VR, treadmills, controllers, headsets. Nah, you can just go to the supermarket and take your shopping cart wherever you please. Even better, you won't have to wait two to three business days to get the stuff you buy. Now ain't that just nifty. Great, looks like you need a good wine pairing. Take a look to your right. Well, what if I don't want the wine? I mean, it sure as hell ain't on the list. Oh God, but you just already know, when they do this stuff for real, they're gonna be like, we noticed you put down the specific brand of tomato sauce, but we recommend that you buy this other brand that's a lot more expensive. God, they're gonna nickel and dime you every step of the way. But that's why I'm here, baby, to read between the lines. Corporate America, I'm onto you like blue on sky. You won't escape from me. Your age has already been pre-verified through your profile. So no need to wait for an ID check. Just place the item in your cart whenever you're ready. I like how when you're waiting for the shelves to load in, you're just left in an infinite void. Jesus, because that's not depressing at all. No one to talk to, nothing to look at. This is the future, baby. What do you mean you ain't excited? I'm getting a notification from your connected smart fridge. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? Yeah, yeah, because that's what I want for Walmart to be able to look into my fridge and see all the things I got. That ain't none of your business. Stay out of my fridge. Oh, you already got milk. Well, maybe I want more milk. You ever think of that, you smug fink? Actually, why do we have fridges that are able to keep track of everything inside of them anyways? You know, I see fridges with screens on them. You hook them up to the internet. All that stuff, man. I just want the thing to keep stuff cold. Maybe make ice, but I just want to keep stuff cold. Hey! Good news, your oil change is done. 
Your vehicle will be ready at- I like how there are just people in the background. Really went all out on the immersion factor, huh? What, is this a multiplayer experience? Imagine, dude. And then they just phase through the floor. Nice. Now for the fun stuff. To electronics! Ah! You know, I was against this whole idea from the start, but I think now it's set in stone. If I'm gonna have to put up with this cringe, yeah, no, this is doomed. Dead on arrival. To electronics. You definitely saved the best for last. This TV has great reviews on Walmart.com. So I wanna know this, is that like a pre-recorded line? Because, I mean, if you really were to think about it, if these are pre-recorded, then we're on a level of dialogue that, like, is better than Fallout New Vegas. I mean, this woman knew we were getting the TV last, and she reflected that in her dialogue. Do they just have these guys record lines for every single possible interaction or something? I don't know, maybe I spoke too soon. I mean, seriously, New Vegas has nothing on these guys. Add it to your cart, and I'll have it brought to the front for you. Brought to the front? How does that work? I mean, we're in virtual reality, ain't we? Jesus, this looks so bland. Say what you will about Walmart, but hey, at least it's a little less dreary than this. You know, I just noticed something. They got phones in the background and it's like, usually you have stuff like laptops, keyboards, stuff like that on display and you're supposed to like test them out, right? Demo them. How are you gonna do that in VR? You can't type on a keyboard, you can't hold a mouse and get a feel for its ergonomics, so what are you supposed to do? Need any accessories? Here are some options on Jet.com. Like I said, they're gonna nickel and dime you everywhere you go. You buy one thing, they're gonna suggest you buy another. I hope I'll be able to tell Sam over here to mind her own damn business. Looks like that's everything on your list. Are you ready to check out with Walmart Pay? Oh, what? I don't have to put my items on the counter like the real thing? Yeah, seems like an oversight to me. I'll have the TV brought out to your car. Wait, hold, hold on. Brought out to my car? Uh, someone, like, someone tell me how this works. Like, presumably, I'd be doing this at home unless I'm doing it in my car, but my car's at the loop place. Uh, maybe this is like an imaginary world, a virtual world separate from the real world, but why would a virtual car need to get lube? My head hurts. Seriously, I'm going crazy trying to figure this stuff out. Maybe I should admit myself to one of them nut houses. Hey, actually, you know what I just realized? Why not do all this, like, on the computer? Why go through the troubles of putting on a VR headset, go through the rigmarole of putting everything in the cart, all that stuff, when I can just boot up Walmart.com, check it out, and buy it? It's just a few clicks. Hell, maybe I'll just go to the store myself. I don't understand what problem this solves. No one's ever been on Amazon and thought, man, I wish there was a more immersive way to get my shopping done. If you want that, just go to the damn store yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly baffled by the stuff these guys are putting out. I thought VR was the future. I thought we'd be doing all this wacky stuff, going on adventures, having fun. But instead, we're gonna be shopping at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I don't know. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, do old Jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.